Liz Wade. And I'm Adam Navis. And welcome to our real conversation about our featured program. And this week, our featured program is called Nikola Tesla, The Forgotten Inventor. And you can find that program on our website, link below to follow along with it if you haven't done that already. Or you can uh, listen along at the link. We have it on YouTube. And uh, yeah, hopefully you've already listened to it. Maybe you haven't, that's okay. You can go back and listen to it then. Uh, but today, right now, we're gonna talk about that program. Uh, Adam, yes. what do you know about Nikola Tesla? Well, when I hear Tesla, I think of these cars, these electric cars. Right. And I think of, I don't know if this is accurate, that uh, that ball at museums that you touch and your hair stands on end. Oh. Uh, Electricity, I, that's what I think I don't of. know if that is accurate. I think maybe you think of it because we do associate Tesla with electricity. Yeah. So maybe that's what your association maybe that's is what, with those I'm little just, Hey, you asked what I associate. I, you never said what's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just confirming that it may not be accurate. <laughs> I'm confirming you don't know what you're talking about. That's what I hear <laughs> and, you say. And uh, Tesla actually has nothing to do with those Tesla cars. Right. Just the name. So, yeah. It, uh, I have to say, you know, I... I I obviously have heard this program, mm -hmm. um, but I did not actually know a lot about Tesla before. I recognized his name, um, but I really didn't know his story. And just reading through this program, a couple things really struck me. Mm -hmm. One is that he was clearly a genius. Yeah, right? very, um, very smart. Yeah, way before his time um, and uh, misunderstood. Right. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little sad. Like, what if he had been born like 50 years later or 100 years later? Yeah. Like, what more could we have learned from him? Um, I also learned that he worked with Thomas Edison, mm -hmm. which is the person I, as I associate most with the light bulb and right. lights. Right. But apparently, that's a little bit of a. Um, not not something yeah. not true. I think there was like a team of people, but he gets all the credit, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, that Tesla worked with him and there was, I honestly, I'm not an engineer in any way. My mind is not made up like an engineer's mind. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I guess there were like two sides of this battle and Tesla yeah. wanted to use AC current and uh, Edison wanted to use DC current. Um, and then you put them together and you get that famous rock band. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> ACDC? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, no, but uh, so Edison said that AC current is not safe. And uh, he did everything he could, this program says, yeah. to stop uh, Tesla from using his idea and right. producing that current and right. making it common. Right. And then and now it's what we use today. Yeah. So... Yeah, it, I thought that was really I, interesting. I thought it was. Um, I mean, I agree with all those things. I the thing that made me really think was going back to what you said about what if he had been born in a different situation or a yeah. different time. I think that so so much of what happens in life is just I don't call it luck, call it circumstance. But mm -hmm. if you if you have someone like who's who's fighting against you versus someone who's like lifting you up. Um, right. Well, and someone who's well-funded fighting against you, right? right? Who's already powerful and yeah. you're not independently wealthy. Right. So there are dynamics at play. Like we like to think that if you're really smart and you work really hard, you'll be successful. But that's right. just not true. Mm -hmm. uh, there are really, really smart people who never get a chance to fully, I don't know, contribute. Right, they don't have the resources maybe to go to school or to continue right. their schooling or to fund their experiments or whatever, which right. is what happened to Tesla, right? He had this uh, this benefactor, this person who gave him a bunch of money, mm -hmm. but then as he got older, then his funds sort of dried out. Nobody yeah. was giving him money anymore and he had all of these ideas 
Yeah. And no money to you know, do this, anything with them. This reminds me of the program about the runner Jesse Owens. Because he had a similar experience where he was very talented. But because uh -huh. of the, the political and social dynamics in the 1930s and 40s, he never really got a good... I don't want to say money is everything, but he didn't make a lot of money right. and and um, just didn't have all those opportunities. So uh, you may want to check out that program if you liked this program. Um, yeah, we'll link it around here at the top. Yeah. Um, but I think that there's a lot of maybe people who are watching this who can listen to this program and relate in the sense that maybe they had an idea or maybe they ha currently have an idea and are just looking to connect with somebody else who can help right. take that idea to the next level. Um, you know, I wonder, though, if that sort of thing is, uh, I mean, it's still a barrier, right? Definitely a barrier. Hmm, okay. But there's still, there's uh, like, you know, micro loans, right? Like Kiva. Yep, yep. I wonder if that helps a little bit where you. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure say, if, if like, you... oh, I have this idea, but I don't have money, but I can get this micro loan from Kiva. I don't I don't know, you know, because there's a lot of different uh, crowdfunding. Yeah, that's a good now. that's a good question. If Tesla, if Nikola Tesla were alive, would he be yeah. on Kickstarter? Probably, <laughs> yeah. probably would be somebody who's on on Kickstarter saying, hey, I want I've got this new form of electricity. The first you get a free T-shirt if you. Uh, I wonder if idea. there, I mean, maybe there already is the next Nikola Tesla on Kickstarter. Maybe. There's so many, you know, there's so many people in the world. Yeah. It's, and so many amazing ideas. And yeah, um, yeah I think so, it's fascinating. I was going to say, so speaking of the next Nikola Tesla, bringing it back to when you were talking about how you associate the car, yeah. the Tesla car with Nikola Tesla. So obviously it's named after him, right? Yeah. But uh, the person who is in charge of that company, is it called Tesla? Yeah. Is the company Tesla? Mm -hmm. Or just the car? Anyway, Both. it's Elon Musk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and he is, is he South African? I think he is. I'm not sure. He's very wealthy, extremely wealthy. I mean, I he can do anything he I think he may wants. be recently, now depending on when you're watching this, he may yeah. be the richest person in the world. It's yeah, I believe it. He's I mean, one of the guys. In, the guys in charge of like SpaceX. They yep. sent that rocket to yep. uh, space just uh, I don't know last year. Yep. Um, it got the electric cars. He's all about electricity, which I mean, I imagine that Tesla is one of his uh, one of his idols, right? Yeah, inspiration. Uh, is inspiration? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, and he's done amazing things, right? Yeah, he's a smart dude too. He is, yeah. He's also like kind oh. of a strange person. Yeah. I wonder right? if that is I mean, <coughs> I don't me. want to get this video taken off YouTube. No, no, no. And we're not <laughs> we're not criticizing him. Right. <laughs> um what we're saying is you can be there are many there is a pattern of people who shall we use a uh, the phrase think outside the box. Right, yeah, that's a which good means that's a good not one. normal thinking, creative, create very creative thinking. Who also mm -hmm. act outside the box in other ways. Right, and when those people have lots and lots of money, they have less accountability. They're not trying to, you know, he's the boss of the company. He can well, even of, not even accountability. You just have the ability, right, to do whatever you want. Right, like who's gonna, you know, say no when you have a weird idea and a million dollars? Right. Or a billion, or a billion dollars, dollars. A trillion yeah. dollars? No, just I don't a, know how rich Just a billion. Is. Nobody has a trillion yet. Yet. Yeah, just uh, give us a year or two. You say Not we're going to have a trillion? <laughs> Not us. I meant us as, as humanity. As, yeah, there as will be whole. someone someday, probably in our lifetime, who who owns a owns a country. See, that's too much money. Anyway, we're that's getting a on different program. Different track here. That's a different program. Yeah, that is that would be a good program though. Too much money? How many people own Oh, I don't even yeah. I can't even get my brain around that. Well, if you were Elon Musk and you had a billion dollars and you were super smart, 
I don't know. I would just sit on a beach somewhere. I'm not that ambitious. You give me a billion dollars, I'm like... That's why you don't have a billion dollars, Adam. Probably. That's the one yeah. reason why I don't yeah. have a billion dollars. The only reason, really. Yeah. No, but anyway, this program was like, it was super interesting. I It's, uh, it's sad to me that such a brilliant person uh, was basically forgotten. Like... And he has such a influence. I mean, if you have the design for the electricity model that we yeah. use literally all around the world, yeah, and you are not associated, like it's not called Tesla electricity or whatever, right? I mean, that's yeah. It, I mean, here, but here we are talking about him, so he's yeah. got some some recognition. Yeah, from, from Spotlight English. From Spotlight English. We recognize you, Nikola Tesla. Good job. We recognize you. <laughs> yeah. So I would love to hear from our listeners or viewers. Uh, I don't know why I say listeners. They're listening people are too. listening. Yeah. Uh, what do you know about Nikola Tesla? You know, um, what kind of ideas do you have? Yeah. Do you like... Or are, we, are we missing you? Are you, are you, are you the, the next, next Nikola Tesla? Or do you know someone who you think, you know what, yeah. this person had a similar thing where they did an amazing thing and don't get enough credit yeah. for what they did. And because we know that there are tens of thousands of people who have contributed significantly to our lives in big and small ways and don't get the credit that they deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we would love if you would join the conversation below. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you would join the conversation below, leave a comment. Check out those uh, those other programs uh, about Nikola Tesla. And you said Jesse Owens, Jesse Owens right? Jesse Owens, yep. Jesse Owens. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click the little bell so that you never miss any of our videos. Check out the playlists. We have um, Jesse Owens got to be in... Jesse Owens's program has got to be in the sports playlist. We have a sports playlist that's available. Um, we have a lot of playlists that you can check through depending on what your interests are. Um, maybe we should make a science playlist, including people like Tesla. I'm sure, stuff like that. I'm sure we could do that. Well, we can do that. I know, because I do it. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying I'm sure we have enough content to fill a yes. playlist. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, and thanks for joining us. We've uh, really enjoyed this conversation, and we'll see you again next time.